Hello and welcome to the Beer Joke Premium Advent Calendar. Today is Christmas Eve's Eve. It's day number 23 is in the Advent Calendar. Is Christmas Eve Eve a real thing? Christmas Eve's Eve? Yeah. Ah, oh, we could just make it a thing. Like, what is real? It's Nothing real. What is real? This beer is real. It and is you're real, you're Matt. And he's Luke. <laughs> and this is a mango colada sour from Choice Bros down in Wellington. And it is called Super Fast Jellyfish. So Choice Bros are a really cool brewery down in Wellington and they're based on Gusney Street right in the centre of the city so if you're walking around um, the many beautiful brew pubs that Central Wellington has to offer, it's pretty much bang in the middle of all of them. Yeah, perfect location. It's by, uh, by Whistling Sisters, just across the square from um, Rogan Vagabonds. Uh, Garage Project Wild Workshop is just across from there. Yeah, and a million others. And, and loads of others, yeah. Um, and yeah, they Cheers. are known for doing really cool interesting beers they've um kind of got their own little niche doing kind of slightly less of center brews yeah um and uh, yeah they're generally nailing it yeah we see some really good innovation from choice bros uh and have done from the outset uh so a year or so ago uh Manaya took over as the head brewer he'd been the uh, the assistant brewer previously and i, I think Manaya's just got a really good way with with flavor um and just the way he puts things together in his beers uh so all of the choice for the one well, I don't know if all the Choice Brothers beers are named after um, songs. I think they are, yeah, that's kind of part of their thing. Did it used to always be Bowie songs? Um, no, so they have, um, their core range is all named after Bowie songs, so they call it the Bowie Mix 6. Um, so there's um, Rebel Rebel, um, and Heldon, and mm. Starman, um, and three others. Yeah. Um, super Fast Jellyfish is actually named after a Gorillaz song, so that is the super group formed by um, Damon Albarn, Del the Funky Homo Sapien, and a couple of others. Yeah, um, I saw those guys in Finland. It was a bloody great show. Yeah, I saw them. At, I saw them at Spark, and they were fantastic. It's yeah, a really cool band. They're putting out some great music. Um, one of their gimmicks in the early days, back in the kind of what early two thousands, it would have been, um, was uh, when they did um, all their. There was a big secret who was in the band, so <laughs> you could tell it was Damon Albarn's voice. Um, but uh, the whole uh, band was always animated, so whenever they did appearances, it was an animated appearance, and all the music videos where they had um, all, the, all the members of the band had their own uh, ca character. Gorillas the... are pretty big. I think they might have might know about the Gorillas. Oh, they might. They might yeah. not. You might. If you haven't heard of the Gorillas, give them a listen. That's Gorillas with a Z. Yeah, good music um, and good beer. Yeah, this is lovely. Um, so. Uh, contrary to our expectations, I believe there's actually no lactose in this beer, mm. which is really surprising given the level of sweetness that's there. Um, and that coconut flavour is really coming in to, as it says, give it that kind of pina, pina colada vibe with that mango -y edge. They've kind of really kind of got all the flavours in there, which is tricky to do when you're trying to balance that many. Yeah, balance is a really good word for this beer. Uh, it's really balanced the flavours, it's a balance of the tartness. Um, it's a really coconut forward beer. This is going to be um, very popular with our mate Tom, who used to, uh, made a few cameos in our videos in the past. The Tom that used to work with us and now works with our pals at 8 Wired. All right, Peter. <laughs> He's still alive. Not in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> who joins us every Monday for Beer Jack Run Club and uh, runs that with me. Uh, and yeah, Tom's favorite beer style is beer with coconut in it. So yeah, yeah. this will be a winning beer for him. Um, and yeah, just real, real nice cocktail of flavours working together. Yeah, I think it's got, it's done really well. With, it hasn't pushed the tartness too far, um, and it hasn't pushed the sweetness too far. So they both kind of play well and bounce off each other without you going, getting really cloying or getting overly tart. Um, I mean, I have a preference for super tart sours. Yep. So I could do with a little more tartness in this beer. Mm. But as a, uh, in terms of drinkability, um, that they've, they've got it just to the right level where it plays against that sweetness that it's kind of offsetting it. Um, so, so it's not cloying, yep. um, but yeah, it's not going to kind of pucker anyone's face up. It's, it's got that kind of, almost like the level of tartness that you get in fruit, like mango. It's a sweet fruit yeah. with, with, with that little note to it. Uh, and pineapple, a bit more tart kind of, uh, but the sweetness to all those ingredients. And um, yeah, it kind of plays well with uh, the origin of those flavors. It really does. Um, and a lot of fruity kettle sours like this are often um, purposefully very light bodied. The sort of really easy drinking goes well with the tartness, but what I my personal preference uh, is a, a kettle sour like this that's got a bit more body. Yeah, I guess, I guess there's some wheat in the uh, in the malt bill. Yeah, it's just got a nice bit of um, yeah, just it's thicker than your average uh, kettle sour. Yeah, and that's something that I really like about it. As um, as Luke said, a lot of uh, kettle sours have the, have the tendency to be thin, 
Um, and slightly lower ABV. What's this, about six? It's five and a half. Five and a half? Yep. Um, so yeah, a lot of those kettle sours are coming in more um, at the 4% range, um, where that they, they have that kind of uh, thinness, and it's refreshing, and it makes it easy drinking. But um, that that slightly uh, fuller mouthfeel allows it to carry those flavors mm. um, and kind of sit more full on the palate to, to let them linger there, rather than kind of washing away completely and doesn't finish dry like a lot of sours do yeah it's uh i mean creamy is not the right word for it but it's it's yeah there's a there's a, a fullness to it and uh, a, a residual sweetness to it that just really does bring to mind like a, a, a fruit cup creamy dessert yeah. type type setup <clears throat> and it's it, what i really like about this it's got um just a, a sense of clarity with each sip you think about the fruit ingredients and you get the coconut, you get the pineapple, you get the mango, and just it's like a different flavor comes to the fore with each sip almost. It's really enjoyable. Yeah, and, and coming back to that texture, it, it is kind of reminiscent of, um, is that kind of, when you get that crushed pineapple in a can and they use that in a pina colada, it's yeah. kind of playing with that coconut milk. That real v vibe and essence of it, of the pina colada is in there. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Very clever beer. Um, just, yeah, the choice of just done a really good job at executing an idea to a really, yeah, really good standard. But there's a, there's a series of super fast jellyfish, right? Uh, yeah, there is. So um, I actually haven't had any of the others in the series. But, no, um, this didn't one, I But they're all um, kind of along a similar vibe, but they use um, uh, different fruit additions. Mm. Um, so this was uh, the latest one that uh, came out just as we were shipping the advent calendar. So it was super fresh, which we're really happy about. Um, but um, yeah, make sure you head down to the venue if, if you're ever in Wellington. Um, you can grab some great food. You can uh, see the brewery. It's right there at the end um, next to the bar. And you can uh, chat to Manaya about burgers as well. Manaya loves a burger. Big as, burger fan. As, as am I. <laughs> so we've had some good burger yarns, Manaya and I. Uh, but yeah, really great job on this. Really, uh, really fun beer. Um, I know a lot of people aren't big sour fans. I think this might win a few people over. Yeah, um, I think so. Just with the uh, yeah the the sort of rounded flavours that we've been talking about. So looking forward to seeing some review your uh, reviews and feedback. Uh, if you haven't already joined, we have a, um, a Facebook group on the internet called uh, NZ Beer Jerks. So check that out, that's where there's a lot of good sort of geeky beer chat going on and interesting articles shared, people talk about reviewing beers, beer holidays, home brewing, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so join NZ Beer Jerks if you're not in there. I will look forward to seeing you there. Cheers, Jerks. See you next time.